So good morning, everyone. My name is Devasis Viswal, and uh, I am looking after T cells activity in uh, Autodesk India. Today, I am going to show you the webinar on how you can make part faster inside Feature Cam. So our agenda today will be as follows. So we'll uh, uh, review the typical challenges and pain points seen by our customer on a daily basis. Discuss Autodesk Feature Cam and see how it can help you to make part faster. Then we'll go through the live demonstration to see several applications like turning, turn mill, and milling application in Feature Cam. And in Feature Cam, uh, we have a dedicated functionality like automatic feature recognition and interactive feature recognition. So uh, these are very good options to minimize your programming time. So we'll look into that also. So Feature Cam is a CAM software that uh, automates the workflow from design to NC code, which uh, not only make your work easier, but you can maintain repeatability by using the single solution. So uh, feature cam is a feature based software so we don't need to go here and there uh, so you can extract all of the features with the help of automatic feature recognition so what kind of challenges we face in our manufacturing uh, activities so part programming is the major concern so which delay and uh, affect our ability to meet delivery schedules. Then uh, if you talk about the smaller lot size and uh, uh, shorter deadlines require more productivity. So that's the another pain point. And to increase the part complexity, suppose part complexity in pages uh, and uh, uh, it uh, more, uh, more or less uh, in today's uh, market, we are getting very complicated machines like multitasking machines, Swiss lathe, turn mills. So how to handle those? And uh, so these are some common uh, areas uh, which uh, uh, impact our uh, uh, manufacturing schedules. So what is the solution? So uh, model um, uh, model rework and uh, error in part programming can create the need of model rework so that that is also another issue and uh, manual programming uh, or your existing cam software does not produce the result you need so that is uh, one more pain point the inability to capture and uh, reuse programming knowledge between jobs create inconsistency suppose you have one uh, manual program uh, made for one uh, controller. Just uh, imagine the controller has the Panu, uh, Panu controller. And if you have to shift that job into another controller, so you have to change your whole cycle. You have to create the NC program once again. So the software can handle those things. So the solution is feature cam. So feature cam, not only fast, it's intelligent and comprehensive. So how you can make program faster inside Feature Cam? So Feature Cam's workflow is automated process and uh, you can find uh, much more simpler and shorter comparison to the traditional uh, workflow. So traditional workflows are basically the operation based, but inside Feature Cam, you can get feature-based programming. So uh, you can import your model or draw your geometry inside software. So feature cam will indirectly uh, identify the feature and uh, create the associative operations. Then you have to simulate the feature to validate the programming and the NC code is ready. So this is the workflow inside feature cam. You can uh, I will uh, to minimize your uh, programming time. Then what will the impact? So 
this automates repetitive tasks such as tool selection defining feeds speeds and uh, uh, it will uh, just like uh, it will reduce the programming time delivery schedules improve the time to market so this is a very good impact on your uh, manufacturing cycle so feature cam will let you make intelligent decisions for your uh, uh, manufacturing based applications so not only it automates the repetitive tasks like uh, tool selection defining feed speed and uh, choosing cutting parameter such as step over step down so all of these things can be handled by feature cam so you can also dynamically update your process planning uh, by using some collaboration um, collaborative tools and all of these application contributes very good result and consistent result for your manufacturing segment so impact will be just like uh, uh, your business uh, will be uh, uh, very standardized manner okay you can get repeatability on your every component you can minimize the risk of uh, just like uh, any accidents or uh, any uh, mistakes so you can maintain your part quality so all of these impact good impact will be made by owning your uh, owning the feature cam software so these are some comprehensive uh, solutions uh, in feature cam so inside feature cam you can get uh, up to 5x uh, milling solution and uh, apart from that uh, you can get milton solutions as well so you can uh, get some uh, very good uh, um, uh, applications inside uh, multitasking machines so nowadays multitasking machines is very uh, uh, widely used and like turn mill switch tablet part maker uh, so where you can use uh, feature cam part maker then uh, turning uh, probing is available inside feature cam then for production use you can use the multiple picture and tungsten picture uh, which is a very uh, good feature inside feature cam then viridium functionality also available in the feature cam so what is the impact this is the single solutions so you don't need to bother about the technology so all of the technology will be uh, given by one vendor so now uh, we'll talk into uh, the software features so software features just like uh, how you make your program inside uh, the traditional uh, software so inside the traditional software you have to draw or import the part then you have to create the setup then you have to select the operation then select boundary select the type of tool path select the cutting tool select feeds and speeds step over or step down then you have to do the simulation and you have to generate the nc code but while using feature cam you can remove all of these operations so these repeat operations you can avoid inside feature cam so in feature cam you have to just import the part identify features you have to simulate and nc code will be automatically generated so it will make your program faster by the unique functionality we have so we have the unique functionality called as automatic feature recognition so uh, it determines the uh, rough and finish operations it will select all the tool sizes calculate the feeds and uh, if you select the uh, set of material or stock material so uh, feeds and speeds will be automatically updated so this is also the good feature of feature cam this is one uh, of the very good part of feature cam that uh, if you heard about power mill software the power mill software is 
very widely used in dye and mold industry. This picture cam is now developed by the same uh, toolpath algorithm which is used inside power mill. So you can expect uh, some more efficient toolpath which will reduce your machining time and increase your surface quality. Apart from that, you can get multi-threading technology. So multi-threading technology is very uh, uh, widely known as the how to uh, make your uh, program faster, program calculation inside the software. So you can use your multi-core CPU chip to do faster programming, faster toolpath calculation. So uh, you can get uh, some uh, very good options like collision avoidance, whether, or, uh, whether uh, uh, the tool overhangs would be uh, uh, more or uh, whether I can split the tool path into uh, various segment to avoid the holder collision. So all of this functionality is available inside PitcherCam, which not only ensure the safety of the uh, part, but you can get the proper tool path to run for that component. Then uh, in feature cam, uh, many add-ins available for the clamps and fixtures, like you can see inside this uh, picture. So you can get uh, add-in of wise and uh, clamps to make your simulation more uh, like a realistic simulation before going to the machine. Then machine simulation is available. So machine simulation is very uh, critical for your multitasking machine where you can avoid uh, the holder uh, collision uh, into the machine or uh, part can be physically machined before sending it to the production. So this is also the good option. And we have the dedicated post processor support for all kind of multi-axis or multitasking machines. And we have the dedicated post-processor customization team who will uh, help you to uh, customize the post-processor, whatever your CNC machine is, we are here to support you. And uh, all of the global machines like uh, uh, BMG, DMG Mori, uh, Majak, all of the post-processor are available with us. So you don't need to worry about the uh, compatibility of the software along with your machine. So you can get uh, 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 turnmill machine support, just like turnmill might be the single turret or single uh, spindle or single turret twin spindle. So uh, all of these machines uh, are supported by feature cam. And uh, you can get, uh, Feature cam allows you to use either C axis or Y axis by a single click. So with the help of this functionality, you can avoid machine limit and optimize the speed of machining. So this is also a good option inside feature cam. So in feature cam, you can use turn milling applications where you can use a live milling tool on a rotated workpiece. It will not only improve the chip taking capacity, but you can uh, just like improve your interrupted cuts also. So this is very good options. If you are doing the turn milling applications on a uh, rotated component. Then inside feature cam, you can move your B axis simultaneously during the turning operation and it, uh, it has some major benefits uh, uh, in respect to minimize the tool changes and achieve better surface finishing. So it is very good option, uh, the B axis control. And apart from that, you can control the B axis positioning, which allows you to clear the path 
without having any machine limit so in a certain scenario uh, like you can see here so here uh, inside this first picture you can see uh, the machine is colliding into another part so if i will rotate if i will position this uh, uh, v axis in the top side i can uh, clear this uh, component and without having any machine limit issue so this is the v axis control uh, facility inside feature cam follow turning and pinch turning so uh, i think you heard about this uh, terminology so these are widely used for the balance turning so using this functionality you can do the balance turning for the roughing and finishing operation using the multi turrets so if you have the uh, upper turret and lower turret you can do these operations in feature cam very efficiently then in feature cam you will get Part hardening options like uh, follow support, bar pull, park catcher, cutoff, and eject, along with the soft spindle support. It is very simple uh, to uh, uh, simple to generate these features, and uh, using this functionality, you can make your uh, uh, programming and uh, make your machining very faster. Feature cam allows you to make perfect synchronization between your manufacturing process allocated to different spindle and turrets. It will reduce your machining time and improve your efficiency as well. So this is the uh, machine synchronization or uh, turret synchronization you can do inside the feature cam by dragging and dropping. So it is very easy and convenient. Feature cams allows you to take benefits by using advanced tool holding options. It removes the issues like uh, editing the program at uh, machine control and edit the NC code, which is a time consuming activity. So it removes the risk tool collision by the simulation with machine. So all of the tool holder, advanced tool holder can be imported or created inside the feature cam. So feature cam supports turning heads. Basically, the turning head is a lead module for milling machines. As a result, user get uh, most of the CNC lead capability at a small fraction of the price. The device incorporates the quality compact lead headstock and tool holder. It let user easily make high precision lead parts on their milling machine. So th these are some examples of uh, turning heads, which is uh, available inside feature cam. So now we'll uh, go through the technical demonstration. During the technical demonstration, we'll deep drive into simple turning, turn mill, and milling applications, along with the advanced functionalities like automatic recognition. So this is widely known as AFR. So let me switch into the software. So this is my software window. Like you can see, this is the turning module. And uh, here I need to import uh, one uh, DWG or uh, IGIS file. So uh, while going through the uh, software, uh, you might be came across with the uh, hard copy of the drawing. Okay, if you are doing the turning um, operation, so not every time it's uh, feasible like uh, the 3D model or CAD model available for you. So you can get the hard copy uh, in PDF format or any kind of format or else you can get uh, uh, just like the dwg file in uh, the drawing format so you can import all of the file by any cad functionality 
So just file import and you can see here all of the CAD uh, uh, extensions available inside FeatureCam. So whether it's an IGES file or DWG file or a Paracelid file, so you can import all of those files inside the software. So now we have uh, one uh, DWG file, uh, sorry, IGES file. So let me import that file inside the feature cam. So we can drag and drop into the software in this way. So this is my curve, okay. And uh, if you have the curve uh, or DWG file or IGES file, you can import this inside the software or else if you don't have any um, uh, CAD geometry, then you can draw the same by using this uh, uh, geometry functionalities inside the software by drawing the line, uh, making the fillet, making the chamfer. So uh, you can use all of this functionality to create your geometry inside the software. So I have just imported one uh, um, IGES file for uh, turning applications. Okay. So now what I can do, I can double click on the stock. So this is my working area. Left hand side is my feature tree. And in right hand side, I can see my NC code or operation details or tool post. So this is basically uh, the ribbon functionalities. So you can see uh, there are various toolbars, right? So you can use very easily uh, in the software. So right now I have uh, the length uh, I can give like uh, 230 or OD you can set as like, uh, you can see, select this. So OD will be automatically adjusted. So just imagine two mm plus, okay. Just apply it. So this is my uh, stock and uh, stock might be the aluminum or uh, steel. So whatever the material is, you can select from here. So there are various kind of material, uh, like, uh, material available in the metal library. So according to this metal, metal library, your uh, feed speed and uh, uh, cutting parameters will be updated. So uh, first of all, I need to do some uh, uh, basic application just i need to show you some basic application so go to feature so in feature i want to do uh, one uh, facing application so from dimension you can take uh, facing application just click on the next and here uh, positive or negative direction you can choose just click on the next so we can do the rough pass or finishing pass. So I need one single pass. That's why I selected finishing pass. Just uh, go to next and uh, just click on the finish. Uh, before clicking on the finish, uh, just I'm going to select my tool. So here you can select your tool. Like uh, if uh, any different kind of tool you want, then you can go for the search, but uh, software, uh, will suggest what tool is perfect for this operation. So apart from that, if you want to change, then you can go for the search and there you can change your uh, tip radius or uh, insert shape or else you can, uh, if you go through some uh, other uh, uh, insert shape, you can find some different tool. So this is the way to select the different tools inside the software. So let's select the default tool. And here the cutting parameters automatically came. If you want to change, then you can change there. And uh, before going to finish it, I'm just going to finish and create more. So you can see the facing application already created, right? So if you want to create the turning, uh, then you can go turning from the curve. So already I have the curve. So I don't need to bother about the curve creation. 
So just click on the next. Then you can go for the selection. So this is my curve number one. So which was already selected. Just go for the next and you can find your turning feature has been made. So just click on the next and here inside the uh, turning uh, tab, you can find all of the functionalities just like offset turning, uh, tool nose data compensation, all of the flavor is available inside the turning strategy. So you can choose whatever you want. So going further, uh, just click on the finish and create more. And uh, after that, if you want to do some uh, whole applications, you can do that. So click on the whole, just click on the next. And here you can give the depth, just like uh, the top view. And uh, if you are not sure about the length, then you can select in this way. And uh, you can go for the diameter, diameter is 25. Just click on the next. So now the spot drill and drill has been already selected. So click on the next and finish and create more. So it is done. So now we can do the boring application. So just go for the boring, click on the next. And uh, so instead of curve one, I have selected the curve two for the boring. So now you can do, uh, you can take choose the roughing and finishing operation. So this is the boring tool, which was already selected. Now finish and create more. And if you want to do the, uh, uh id grooving then you can do that also so just groove next curve number three click on the next this is the id so you have to select the id then click on the next and uh, you can select finish and create more and apart from that if you want to select uh, create some uh, threading operations uh, on the outer diameter then you can choose the thread from dimension and uh, there you can go for the standard thread or custom threads for the custom thread you can select the major diameter so i'm just selecting the major diameter and giving the pitch as uh, 2.5 so finish so now uh, if you are wondering uh, what is the depth of cut it has uh, selected uh, software selected so all of the uh, parameter can be edited later or during the toolpath creation you can do that so just go to the rough go to the turning so you can see depth of cut is 0.5 so you can change it to 1 mm or else you can select uh, set all of the uh, uh, parameters uh, according to your own requirement so like this i can uh, simulate here so just go to simulate and the simulate uh, simulation is uh, uh, just like here you can do the center line simulation so for the center line simulation just i am going to make it slow just play it so this is the facing this is turning application which is threading so if you want to see the 3d uh, milling 3, 3d uh, simulation then uh, you can do in this way right and uh, while doing the simulation you can see the nc code is already generated right so nc code is uh, uh, generated uh, by using this uh, post processor so default post processor was selected uh, one of the turnmill post processor was selected so let me change the post processor so how to change that just go to select and uh, i'm going to select one turning post this is the maja quick turn so just select it and uh, just uh, make a play so when clicking the simulation of uh, completing the simulation your nc code will be automatically generated as per the selected post so just go to the nc code and you can see this is the nc program so in the meanwhile if you go for the machine simulation then you can do that 
so machine simulation is uh, also the uh, good functionality inside the feature cam as i told before so this is a realistic simulation by using the realistic simulation you can ensure your safety of the machine and safety of the component as well so this is the way you can <coughs> create your uh, uh, features using the curve but you can see this is the uh, uh, time taking activity okay so uh, though i have i don't have any cad model so but if i have the cad model then what software will do uh, additionally so let me go through another uh, uh, file I, I will just create another file and uh, uh, let me import uh, uh, other uh, model so i have uh, another model called as basic turn afr so just i'm going to import this file inside the software so yes import it so now you can see the part is not aligned into the z axis so let me align this component by using this wizard so just click on the next so here i am going to select the revolve surface so i am going to this select the surface here so now you can see my z axis is aligned so just click on the next so here uh, software is asking to define the x axis so though it's a uh, revolve component i don't need to select the x axis so it's a round component so round stock will be needed select the stock uh, center so it's a default one so just click on the next and click on the compute stock size so it will automatically resize your stock according to your model right so if you want to keep some extra stock in the back you can give it and uh, in front side i want to make zero so i will click here so it will come directly into the front side so if you have the uh, cad model this functionality will be available so it will be the wizard base and you don't need to bother about uh, what to do next what to do uh, later so all of these things will be taken care by the software so click on the next and finish so when clicking on the finish uh, then software will ask you to recognize holes and recognize features so just go for the set uh, select feature for setup one while clicking on here software will automatically extract all of the features from this model okay so i don't need to create the curve create the toolpath extra um, so nothing will be required here so all of this functionalities all of the toolpath will be extracted by the software this is the unique feature unique functionality inside the software called as automatic speaker recognition so using this functionality you can extract all of this feature from the solid cad model right so uh, whatever you need you can uh, select over here if you don't want this bore so you can avoid this okay so just click on the finish after clicking on finish you can see the drill uh, before the drill operation it is uh, showing some uh, 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 signal so uh, clicking on the details you can find out what is the reason behind this uh, error message okay so uh, it is showing that tool diameter 16 is uh, smaller than 25.6 so their default spot uh, drill diameter uh, edge break will not be achieved and uh, after that twist is not found okay so what we do so i am going to change my uh, tool creep okay so this is the basic method i'm just going to change it to tools right so you can see all of this uh, error message uh, has been removed so now what i can do i will just uh, go for the simulation so whether simulation will be center line or 3d just one now it's done okay and nc code also done
So this is the fastest way you can do the uh, machining. So uh, one thing uh, will be uh, revolving in your mind. So how to validate the part? After machining the component, how can I ensure that part is properly machined without any uh, material issue? Okay, so suppose any kind of operation will be uh, skipped, the part will be rejected. So how to ensure that the part is uh, completely machined or not? So to do that, just go for the solid. So you can right click over here. So use solid as part compare target, right? Then you can go for the result. In the results, just sim save simulation result. And you can save to other directory, whatever you want. So now you can go to show and part compare. So now software will show you whether any of the uh, material uh, or uh, uh, whether any uh, feature will be skipped or material will be skipped over this component. So in the green side, you can uh, ensure that all of the uh, material has been removed and the blue portion you can see there are some material because I have left some extra material in the back side. Okay, so this is the way you can validate your part after the machining. Right, so this is the unique functionality. So now I am going uh, uh, to select one uh, turn mill component. So this is the plain uh, turning component. So I am going to take another component. So uh, just I'm going to import it. So this one is the file turn mill demo, right? So I'm just going to import it. So I will show some uh, basic turn mill functionalities inside the software. Just click on the yes. So now you can see the color is not uh, good. So how to change this color? So just select the component and uh, go to view. Then you can change the selected color. And you can select the green color, right? So in this way, you can change the color, right? Then click on the next. So now what will happen? So Z is proper. So I don't need to alter the Z direction. So Z direction is proper, so I don't need to worry about. So click on the next. So now it's asking to select the X direction. So X direction is also proper. I don't need to worry about for that. So now what kind of stock I will need? So I will need the round stock. So it's also good. Then compute stock size and I am going to keep some stock in the back side. So I will keep uh, around 50 mm. So click on the preview. So where I have to set my setup. So click on the front side. So click on the finish. So now after clicking on the next. So you can see all of the holes were uh, automatically recognized by the software. So these are the all whole applications. So now I'm going to select the features, right? So you can see this is this is the uh, these are the features were extracted by the software. So uh, some of the features were not uh, uh, valid because uh, uh, this uh, though this is a turn mill component, so you can't expect uh, some uh, uh, critical feature to be extracted by the AFR application. So uh, those uh, features can be excluded from here. So I'm just going to select. So this one required, this one not required, this one not required, this one is also not required because it will be done through the turning. 
this will require this will require this will require. okay so just click on the finish so after clicking on the finish whatever the required feature will be um, available here and other feature will be skipped okay so now what i can do so this whole i can skip i can delete right so these are okay okay so uh, i have missed one uh, turning applications over here so let me do extract the turning uh, application so how to extract that so again i'm going to the fr so you can see uh, the turning application is not uh, extracted so i can uh, change my uh, post processor from here so i have to select my turn mill post right so now i can go through the fr So now you can see the turning is uh, extracted by the software. So I'm going to pick off all of these applications, all of the features. So I'm going to select the turning only. So this is my turning. So now I'm going to place it on the top, right? So then I'm going to set my side application right then i can do the whole applications right so if you go for the simulation you can see this is the turning this one is the side application so let's play through the 3d so we'll get the actual yes this is the uh, possible goals so what happened uh, i have created some of the features but i uh, excluded uh, the pocket features and this uh, this face were not removed okay so that my two leads colliding into the excess material so i have to extract uh, the feature from this component to make this component complete machine so how to do that just go to the feature so while going to the feature inside that you can go for the turn mill then click on the next and there you can find some uh, uh, good options just like you can go for the face so uh, by clicking on the face you can select next and here in uh, after clicking on the face you can select the extract with feature recognition so click on the next so you can select the around indexing axis so you can select the normal to face this one is my face so according to that my ex uh, setup will be oriented so click on the next and uh, software will automatically extract the feature from this face so click on the next and uh, you can go for finish and create more so what i can do so this face application has been extracted but i want to make it rep, uh, mirror or make it rotated to the other side so i don't want to create one more time okay so inside the terminal application go for the next and you can find out 
one function called as pattern. So click on the next, and you can select that face operation. So I can select this face application, just add it, and go for the next. And there, you can uh, go for the radial around indexing axis. Give the number as two, and here you can select the 180. So you can see the feature uh, was uh, rotated to other side. So click on the finish. So in this way, the, this is my turning. So this is my side, and this is my face operation. So just I'm going to tick off all the application. I'm going to select this three operation. Then I'm going to show you some. So now you can see my face was removed. Okay. So in this way, I can extract all of the features from this solid component, solid model. Okay. So if you go through the extraction, just go to the feature. I want to extract this pocket from this component. So go to the next. And uh, you can go through the uh, pocket operation here. So inside the pocket, you can use this uh, uh, extract with feature recognition. So this one is called as IFR. This is the interactive feature recognition. Okay. So go for the next and go and select the same. So I'm going to select this uh, bottom surface. So click on the next. Select the horizontal surface. So add this. So I, you can find out the pocket was extracted, right? So click on the next. And you can uh, choose whatever the combination you want. And click on the finish and create more. So in the similar manner, I can make the pattern. Just add this and uh, make it rotated to other side. Okay, so in this way you can extract this uh, pocket also, extract this side also. So I will just show you how you can extract. So these are the uh, features I have extracted. So you can go for the simulation. Uh, this time I'm going to show you. So this is the, I'm going to show you some uh, 3D simulation. Let me switch off it and I will switch through machine simulation. Yes. So the this is the pinch turning. This is the side application. So uh, by this uh, machine simulation, you can ensure your machine safety as well as component safety. Okay, so this is the search middle applications. So this is the parting. Then this is the another operation. So in this way, you can do the uh, synchronization of the tool post like I, uh, I did here. Okay. So you can do the suspend operation. So this is very good for uh, creating the programming. And uh, I will move into some other functionalities of AFR, automatic uh, feature recognition. So this is the last uh, um, model I want to show you. So let me open one uh, milling file. So just I'm going to select one milling component. 
So I have one mailing component uh, called as, uh, uh, just I'm going to select it. So this is the end plate, and this is the SOLIDWORKS file. I'm just going to import it. So just click on the acceptance. Okay. So I'm going to uh, set it is in X direction. So Z is proper. So I don't need to worry about that. So pick two points to define Z, uh, sorry, X direction. So I'm going to select this uh, two points to define the X axis. So now you can see the component has been aligned to the X. So click on the next and uh, you can set your block so click on the next and uh, compute stock size so i am going to set the extra thickness as 10 mm in the bottom side so click on the next so i'm going to set my uh, setup zero or g54 in the center so click on the center side so after clicking on the finish and uh, click on the next so software will extract all of the features by the unique afr functionality so you can see all of the holes and side okay every features has been automatically uh, extracted by the software you have to click on the finish only so these all features were extracted from this model right and uh, to uh, see the complete simulation you can use the adding functionality so go for the adding and there you can use this import vice so by using this functionality you can use the vice uh, uh, proper vice uh, where you can hold the component so i am going to set as uh, amount part held uh, 5 mm so I'm going to set it. So you can see there are a lot of uh, wise uh, types available inside the software. Okay. So just click on the import. So it will set some uh, errors, but uh, it will be imported. So now your vice is ready. Okay. Right. So now you can go for the simulation. So go for the simulation and machine simulation and click on the play. So I have already selected uh, the machine simulation file. Right. So this is the complete machine simulation. Using the Fano robot rail uh, machine, you can simulate the component. So whether it's a three axis machine or five axis machine, you can uh, uh, Customize your uh, machine according to exactly. So, this is the way you can do your simulation. Okay. So, now uh, the last thing is uh, uh, how to uh, ensure the proper communication between your operator and uh, uh, programmer. Okay. So, uh, if you have to do some documentation work, then you can uh, create some setup sheet. So just I'm going to create some setup sheet. So for uh, setup sheet generation, you can go and uh, you can uh, fill the information inside this info panel. Then uh, you can use the adding functionality. It's called a uh, setup sheet. So for that, uh, my part should be saved. So just I'm going to save my part. So now my part has been saved. So now I can use this setup sheet. Just capture document image, capture setup image. 
and what type of template you want. So there are two templates, one is the Excel template, another one is the HTML template. So you can use any of the template you uh, as per your requirement. So I'm just going to uh, select the setup template, the HTML format. Just uh, you can go for the create setup sheet. So you can see these are all tool details, right? So this is the operation time. This is the image. So uh, by the help of this uh, setup sheet, you can communicate uh, uh, effectively with your uh, stakeholders or uh, programmers or operators. So this is very good functionality inside the software. And apart from that, if you go through the uh, NC program, then uh, according to the post processor, see right in right hand side, all of the NC program has been extracted. So if you have to save it, then you can select the uh, save the NC program and it will be generated. So right, so uh, this is the whole process uh, uh, inside the feature cam, whether you are using the turn mill, turning or uh, milling. So you can use the AFR functionality uh, very effectively to reduce your programming time. And if you don't have the CAD model, then you can uh, draw or uh, draw the geometry or uh, create the model inside the feature cam as well. And the feature cam is also uh, uh, coming with the fusion. So inside the fusion, you can uh, develop the model and you can uh, machine the component inside the feature cam. So uh, I'm going to switch my presentation day. So summary is, uh, we have covered what is feature cam, what is feature recognition, AFR and IFR. And uh, we have gone through the various kind of uh, operations uh, like turning, milling, turn mill. So now it's your turn. Uh, if you have any kind of uh, questions, then you can put it in the chat box. I will be glad to answer it. Thanks. So please, uh, guys, uh, anyone having any kind of questions, uh, it might be, um, uh, it might be the technical or anything you can ask me regarding the, uh, software features any kind of uh, questions in your mind you can ask me or uh, put it in the chat box so i think uh, we are over of the time and uh, we need to stop the webinar yes uh so um yes uh, oh, there are some we questions get the, we get the uh, question yeah so we got uh, two questions one feature cam can five. use also in edm yes michael uh you can use feature cam for edm application so where the uh we have dedicated uh post processor and uh, you can use those post processor for the edm operations can we assign a type of model of CNC machine? Yes, Mark, you can assign the model inside uh, the software. So uh, for that, you need uh, a, uh, a machine simulation file, uh, which, uh, which will be supplied through our post uh, processor team. So along with the post processor, one uh, machine simulation file will be supplied and that machine simulation file has to be imported in the software. After that, you can uh, uh, just uh, make the simulation with the machine. So that will be make sense. Apart from that, any questions? Can you give us where to download? Uh, actually, uh, Mark, uh, uh, it is not available by default. 
so it is the customizable one so uh, um, when one customer uh, uh, give the order uh, then uh, and uh, giving the post processor order then only uh, he will be able to uh, download it from our uh, uh, post processor uh, customization team so post processor customization team will supply that file so if you are the uh, partner side then uh, our uh, um uh, default uh, machine library is available inside the rolling demo so you can use that so if you don't have the rolling demo uh, you can ask your uh, uh, sales rep to arrange that for you am i clear mark yes thank you is that possible to update my software because i use 2015 model uh, no uh, vincent uh, because uh, 2015 uh, is the older one and uh, uh, it it was uh, during the del delcam period so it, it it can't be upgraded but uh, you can uh, uh, choose the uh, new subscription uh, version for from Autodesk uh, feature cam. So it is the 2021. So you might get some uh, changes in the icon, but uh, it is very good. So uh, you can get some more options inside uh, 2021. So thanks, Mark, for your compliment. Okay, thanks, Vincent. So I think uh, we are over of time. Uh, so can I request uh, uh, organizer to stop the recording? And uh, thanks, thanks guys, all of you to attend the session and uh, having patience to see my presentation. Thanks. Okay, um, again, thank you for those who attended this webinar. Uh, we would like to thank again Mr. Debafis Biswal for um, giving us time to discuss um, the features um, and the technicalities of Feature Cam. Um, so, guys, if we have any other webinars coming up for um, the coming months, um, we will again invite you um, to have a to have another session of this uh, kind of informative webinar um, for us to showcase the different features of the softwares inside the um, product and manufacturing collection. So again, thank you for attending this webinar and um, hope uh, all you guys are safe and um, see you again on the next webinars. Thank you and goodbye.